Hello, my name is Jack Brown. I'm an artist. We're here in my studio so I can show you some technical tips to help you make some new work for the Take Part Challenge. Okay, so we are going to look at some inventive drawing surfaces. Now, you'll recognise this, a piece of A4 white paper. It's what everyone starts with without thinking about it, and actually, it's quite a boring way to make a drawing. Um, so I want to show you some different ways of using different surfaces, so you can make a piece of work that might stand out and could win you uh, a prize in the Take Art Challenge. So, without further ado, I'm going to start to experiment with some drawing surfaces. So let's get rid of the boring A4. Let's move on to something interesting straight away. A piece of wood, a really nice surface to draw on. I'm going to use uh, a nice big chunky pencil. Now because you're using uh, wood, you've got a, a mid-tone here. So you're not starting with a boring white, you're starting with a mid-tone. So you can actually get highlights on top of this as well. Okay. Pretty nice start to an example of an interesting drawing surface. Moving on, why not try something bright, something a bit different. So I'm going to use some Sharpie pens on these. Um, let's go for... Let's go for red on green. Quite nice examples there. Something like this, an old bag that I got a pencil in, um, makes a really interesting sort of patterned background to start off with. So I'm going to use some pastels on this. Uh, and I'm going to go for... Okay, quite a nice example of an interesting surface. Envelopes are quite interesting too, because as soon as you start to work on these, the whole thing becomes an almost three-dimensional object. It's a bit more sculptural. So again, I'll try something on here. Now you might also want to work on a smaller scale. So I've got some small objects you can use for drawing here. Um, one nice thing to use, a rubber, multicoloured rubber. This can become a really interesting drawing surface. Biros work really well on rubbers. Nice little drawing. Post-it notes. Seems quite obvious, but you can get some nice drawings out of post-it notes because you've got a nice background colour to work with. Might even use some crayons. Quite nice. This is the top of an old uh, kebab box. It's got a nice metallic effect on it. So you might add a drawing to this. It's pretty nice, pretty cool. Um, also, found one of these recently, which I think is going to make a great little drawing surface. So it's a little um, key ring, a dress thing. You can get the card out of it, draw your drawing on it. and then slide it back to the side so your drawing is actually part of an object. I really, really, really like that. So another thing to think about is um, transparencies, what you can get to build up in layers with an image. So, for example, really cheap stuff to use, baking paper, and um, this can be used to build the transparency, so I'm going to draw a picture, uh, maybe with some pastel, then I can add a layer, I need a different colour to trace this. slightly offset that image, so we'll have something like this, and then I could get another layer, that could be added on top, and I could finally have another image, 
over there. So you see you get a lot of different things you can do, you can move it around, choose how your picture works. Um, you might also use, I've got some old uh, folders here, these are just like normal work folders that you put works in, you can get these from a pound shop, uh, but if you put them up you can start to layer up things and again work on top, so this might turn out to be A really interesting surface to work on because you can have a drawing, you can move those bits around, you might even layer things on top of that drawing. So you start to get really nice stuff like that. Finally, um, something really adventurous, big tin tray, turkey tray from Christmas. Um, again, pastels work on this, so I'm going to get a pastel, start my drawing down the middle. Maybe add some colour. So this is how you get your work to stand out. This is what you can do if you really experiment. So we've got all sorts of drawing surfaces, loads of things going on, loads of different ways to present your work. And hopefully something in here you can see and use to make a new piece of work for the Take Part Challenge.